Hello, this is the Tech Support Dude, and I'm going to be showing you how to considerably increase your startup's time uh, by going through your BIOS and changing your boot order and stuff. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to restart and wait for your computer to shut down. And then get your hand on the function keys, because you'll see something pop up real quick that says press escape to get into your startup menu, or if you're on a different kind of computer than me, which you probably are, you'll see something like press F12 to enter BIOS, press F10 to enter BIOS, something like that. You just gotta get into the BIOS somehow. Uh, you probably have instructions that came with your computer that'll show you how to do that. So, I just gotta press escape, then I have to press F10, and you'll see a screen like this. Okay? Uh, so here's all your stuff and your BIOS. So we're going to want to go into system configuration. This will probably be a little bit different for you because every computer has a different BIOS. Or well not every computer, every type of computer has a different BIOS essentially. So you're going to want to go to something like system configuration, then you're going to see something like boot options, and then you're going to see something like boot order. And you're going to make sure that you're hard drive is on top. That way it doesn't even search the other like floppy drives and CD-ROM drives for content to boot from. It'll just go straight to your hard drive. And after you've done that, you're going to want to just go... oh, just uh... So you're going to want to configure that. You can move them up and down uh, with like F5 and F6. I'm keeping that at the top where it needs to be. I'll put that one second. And then escape to exit. And then escape to exit that. Language is going to be English. The fan's always on. That doesn't really have anything to do with it. I'm just reading aloud here. Uh, so you're just going to make sure your boot order is like that. And then if you want to, you can disable CD-ROM boot, unless you need to boot from a CD, in which case you can just go in and do a custom boot and do it. F10 and F12 delay, that should be at zero. And, uh, you do all that, you should go to exit and exit saving changes. And you should notice that you boot just a little bit faster. Um, the next step is to clean up your startup programs. But this should go just a little bit faster than what it did. Considerably faster. Um, yeah, so mine went a little faster than it did before because I turned off the CD-ROM boot. And there you go. Um, you're at your login screen, Windows, Linux, whatever. Uh, considerably faster than you would have been. So that is all for this episode. Um, I'll talk to you guys on Friday.